Hello, you are live with BBC News. Now, The Traitors has become one of the most talked about programmes on television. And after weeks of backstabbing and betrayal, it comes to an end tonight. Well, let's find out a little bit more about the show and what it involves. We're now joined by Darren Stanton, who is an expert in body language and deception detection. Sounds like you've got a good job there, Darren. Um, first of all, for people like me, and I do have to admit, I haven't seen the show. What is it? What it's all, what's it all about? I think it's just one of those things that fascinates people. People love to watch other people in certain situations that they couldn't really find themselves in. So, you know, in, in recent years, we've seen a number of shows where, you know, people love to watch people in conflict. So I think, you know, everyone's got a little bit of a dark side. So it enables people to maybe get, expose themselves to a little bit of danger without any consequence. Mm -hmm. So and this show's absolutely gone, gone crazy, as we've seen. And Darren, just tell people who may not have seen the show what exactly is happening. Yes, yeah, so obviously you've got a number of people, essentially. Um, some of them are traitors. Um, and they obviously employ sort of very Machiavellian sort of techniques. And they, they get, get the opportunity to murder certain people, um, which are called faithfuls. So whoever they perceive to be a threat to their discovery, they murder them. So it's all about gaining people's trust, um, again, you know, and, and, and really abusing that trust in a lot of respect. So some of the stronger personalities in there, um, it's been really interesting to see how they've developed during the course of the series. And while you're talking, Darren, we've just been seeing some pictures of some of the people that are taking part in the show. Look like there are some great characters. Now, you are a body language expert when it comes to deception and detection. How do you, how do you tell that someone's lying? Well, essentially, most people have what we call a baseline. So we'll look at people in the eye for a certain degree of seconds, um, you know, maintain eye contact, our breathing will be at a certain rate. Now, there's nothing that can measure lies, but what we do do is we're able to see changes in emotion. So the bigger the consequence of being discovered in a lie affects someone's physiology and emotion. So, you know, we've just got past Christmas. I mean, most people during the month of December are eight times more likely to lie and say, I love that present you got me, thank you so much, and you know you're never going to wear it. Um, so in terms of other tells that people can look for is people will tend to blink um, maybe double or three times the rate. Um, their lips will go quite pale. Um, so this is where there's a big consequence to being discovered. And as we've seen on this show, mm. there's 100,000 pounds up for grabs. So some of them have been very, very strong contenders. Yeah, a lot of money there. And, and I've heard in the past as well, people cover their face when they tend to lie or um, hide their hands or something like that. Um, when it comes to who is better at lying, is there a certain type of person that might be better? Is there a discrepancy between men and women, controversially? Yeah, statistically, research shows that men are more likely to lie eight times more, and they'll tend to lie more about power, status, affluence, Whereas women will tend to maybe lie more for more noble reasons, such as protecting feelings of, of other people. Um, so, so really what we're looking for is, is, is just basic changes in someone's baseline behaviour. And, you know, it doesn't matter how well trained somebody is. Um, the people that are, are, tend to be quite good at this are maybe actors that are used to stepping in and out of different sort of mindsets. Um, anyone that can convince themselves that, that a lie is real as well, because the brain will always be consistent with a belief. So if someone believes a lie to be true, then they tend to make the best liars. And watching the show, do you feel like you know who the, um, who the traitors are? Do you think that you've got a, um, a good eye? Well, well obviously, we've, we've kind of shown who are the traitors. So um, for people that have watched the show, obviously, there was Paul, he was a very strong contender. But he was discovered a few a few episodes ago, um, so again we're not spoiling anything because people already know who the traitors are. So uh -huh, Harry's a okay. personality, um, yeah. I've, I've, so I think I think people are expecting him to win, but I think there's a couple of people who are the faithful who are probably going to create a bit of a twist tonight. So I think tonight's going to be really really fascinating. Really, really interesting. And you can tell I haven't watched the show there, but I think I might be tuning in tonight following your description. Darren Stanton, body language and behavioural expert speaking to us here on BBC News. Thanks for joining us.